Hi, welcome back to my bathroom. Now, I've been doing some videos all about packing and holidays, and I've had lots of questions about beauty, and in particular about holiday makeup and bases and that kind of thing, so I thought I'd just run through very quickly what is coming with me on my holidays. And to start with, it's a packing cube, so everything I'm going to pack is going to go into this. And I'm gonna start with a three-in-one serum. This is a new brand that I've discovered, Fab Female Founder, it's called 35,000. And the reason it's called that is that she developed it with the help of flight attendants wanting products that would work at 35,000 feet. So you can be really sure that it's good for travel. So it's a serum, but it also has an SPF 20 and it has just a little bit of tint. So as a base, you know, to use all over, I think it's genius and I really like it actually. I've been using it for a while now. So that is going in my bag. I think we do have a Liz Loves discount on this one. So check the uh, links, which we'll put up for everything that I talk about here because some of the products you can get on discount um, if you use the Liz Loves code. So that's going into there. Um, talking about bases, actually, sometimes I do this little trick. So these are tanning drops. It's called Tan Looks for the face and you just literally need one drop that you mix in with your moisturizer or your serum or whatever it is that you're popping on your face. And it just, if you mix it together in your hand and then put it all over your face and neck, it just brings out a bit more of a bronzy, tan looking glow without actually doing the tan. So we are faking it to make it with this, but it doesn't make you go orange. And because you're just using one drop in your skincare, it works really, really well. That was a makeup tip actually from Kerry September, which I have carried on. Now, of course, we do need sun protection. So I've got an SPF 45, that's going in there. And then I'm going to take a foundation with me, just in case I want a bit of extra coverage. Normally I would just use a tinted moisturizer or something really simple, you know, a little bit of concealer maybe. Um, but normally if I want extra coverage, I will use something like the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Club. So I'm normally a 30, which is this one. And I'm actually going to take the 40 with me. Do you see that's just a little bit more of a tan, a little bit darker. So I think that will work with me through the summer. And I'm going to mix that if I want a really professional finish. This is great. This is Sensai and it's called Glowing Base. And it's like a makeup primer but it also has just a little bit of apricotty tint. So you'd use that. I actually mix it in with my foundation. You could use it on its own, play around with it. If you've got it, let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. You can use it on its own, you can mix it with foundation, you can use it as a makeup primer, you know, before whatever you put on top, if in fact you do put anything on top. But I, I really like that. It's also got an SPF 10, which I know is not very much, but think about it, every time you put a colour or a mineral based makeup, which most makeup is mineral based, frankly, you are layering on your sun protection. So if you've already got a bit of sun protection with your primer or your sunscreen or whatever, you know, this is adding to that. It's like powder, it does the same thing. Talking about powder, this was a fairly new discovery for me and I absolutely love it. It's Studio 10, it's their bronzing powder. You might have seen me demonstrate it with Grace. So you've got the bronzing powder here and then you've got a little highlighter if you want to use it. You know, you could use it on your collarbones, you could use it on the tip of your nose, just on cheekbones here. So that is going in my bag. And I've actually got a big Delilah blusher brush, which I really like, and I'm gonna apply it with that. So that is definitely going in. A um, couple of other Studio 10 things that I really like also. Uh, this is kind of an everyday foundation with a little bit of a darker colour. So you've got foundation one and foundation two. That's really good because you can mix them, just like I was saying with these, if you don't want to take the glass bottles with you, then really good, a little compact here, you've got one and two. And the darker one, you could actually use for a tiny bit of contouring or a little bit of kind of definition under the chin. And I just find that these compacts travel really well. And for the face, actually, I'm also going to take these two. Perfect Bronze Glowplexion and the Plumping Up Glowplexion. These were the ones that we demoed uh, in the studios with Grace. So this is the bronzy one, if you haven't seen it. And again, you can use that on its own or you can mix that with a little bit of your moisturizer just to give you that bronze glow. Really like that one. 
and then so that can go all over your face or wherever you need to really it's also great mix with a bit of body moisturizer you can use it on your legs just kind of up here just to give you a little bit of a sun-kissed look and then the plumping blush is just brilliant this goes all over uh, cheekbones do you see it's just a lovely texture and I think these liquids and these creams they work really well because they don't go cakey you know you want your skin to look dewy and fresh in the summer so those are going in um, I'm gonna run out of room soon but I don't think so I think if I shuffle them around I'll be fine so let me just move those in there I might have to step up to a bigger cube I think I'll be all right um, and then coming on to cheeks, actually, in general, this is also really nice. It's a Bobbi Brown and it's called Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. This colour is powder pink and it's a really great neutral. So you can use that on cheeks. You can use it on your lips as well. You know, double duty if you just want to have one little pot of something that you have in your bag or in your hand luggage for you know, in flight, anything like that, that is, I think, really good as a double duty. So Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks, that's Bobby Brown. Um, when it comes to eyes generally, this one was the Studio 10 Compact. This, I think, is very good. So it's called Visible Lift Eye Definer, and it's just full of real neutrals. So you've got a primer, you've got a highlighter, this is great, this shade, it's called Neutralize, and you can just use it, I've actually got it on at the moment, I don't know if you can see, um, but it just takes out the redness of your eyelids and you can use it, whatever you're colouring, just to give you a little bit of definition, but it doesn't look as if you're made up, which I really like. And then you have got a little bit of a darker brown there that you could use if you want to do a kind of winged edge. So that I think is really good value, it gives a lot of colour in one little compact. The other compact that I love, which I've been really faithful to now since I first discovered it, is the Delilah. And this one, it's called Jezebel. I should know because I've talked about it so often. Jezebel Colour Intense Eyeshadow Palette. And it has nine colours. So again, you're getting a lot for your money. These, the top row here, really good for daytime, just evening out, taking out redness, a little bit of definition. You've got some really fun ones here. This gold sparkle is absolutely fantastic for just adding a little bit of evening shimmer. You know, if you just want to do a little bit added in the evening. And then these darks on the bottom are just genius. And what I use for these, which is also genius, this is actually a Studio 10 brush. And this is a fantastic brush because if you use this in something like the dark grey charcoal, you can use that just as a little bit of eyeliner or just to give a little winged effect. I'll do a separate makeup, holiday makeup tutorial so you can see what I mean, but I'm just showing you now my packing. But this is a great brush, Studio 10, because you've got a little eye brush at one end and then you've got that little liner as well with this compact. Honestly, trust me, I've got about four of these. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, then actually eyes, something I discovered from Grace at Studio 10 recently was her liquid metallics. I don't know quite what she calls these. There's a goldy one and a rose gold. This is the gold. Again, great for holidays. I would not wear this normally. But, you know, if you're going on the beach, that is really fun on your eyelids. And honestly, trust me, when you put it on, it doesn't crease, it doesn't cake, it doesn't move. This one is a bit of a rosy gold. Like this. So you can see, you can mix the two together or you can use them one at a time. This actually is really nice for daytime because it's not too glittery at all. It's just a bit of sheen, which is really nice. Um, excuse my voice, by the way, I was at a concert and we were all singing <laughs> really loudly. And I think, uh, <clears throat> yeah, my voice is slightly paying the price, a bit croaky today. Uh, for the brows, this is really good. This is Delilah, it's called Brow Shape. Teeny weeny brush and it is perfect for lifting your brows up. One of the best makeup tricks if you want to give your eyes an instant lift is to comb your eyebrows upwards. So this adds a little bit of colour if you want to try that. And it sets them in place all day, even if it's really hot. So again, for holidays, it's great. Um, this is also really nice. I'm just gonna throw this in. It's called Stay the Night. 
take that whichever way you like. It's a smooth eyeshadow stick from Delilah. Again, creamy, easy to use. Look at all these lovely colours, so soft. I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure. So, you know, if your eyelids are quite fragile, quite sensitive, this is a really lovely one. And this is uh, the colour, this is called hot chocolate, that one. So if you want a nice, deep definition, kind of eye crayony thing. Talking about eye crayons, eye pencils are brilliant, same as lip pencils, these are all the Studio 10 ones. Um, they take up no space, you know, you can put them in your cabin baggage because they're just pencils. So I've got the lip one, which is really good, it works also, you can do it as a dot on your cheeks as blusher. And I've got just kind of some of the fun eye ones, this is a really nice one, which is called uh, Long Wear Lift Eyeshadow Pen, Pencil. Uh, liner, sorry, eye lift, long wear liner, that's that one. And then there's another one here, which is in a blue and a green, sort of tealy colour. Now I would not normally use a bright blue or a bright green, but do you know what? As a little bit of liner, just here on holiday, it's really fun. So no space, I mean, that takes up no space, so pop those in. Um, last but not least, I've got a couple of other brushes. This was the Studio 10 kind of face brush, which is really nice to use. And they also have, this is a Delilah, actually, this is the Delilah eyeshadow brush that I use for their compact. Um, mascara, I'm taking a Beauty Pie one. I really like this. It doesn't shift and it just vavums your lashes. It's called Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. Uber Volume Boost. And it is, yeah, it's great. It's got a really good lash building, boosting brush. So that is going in my bag. For my lips, really simple. Studio 10, they've got this great gloss. It's got a uh, mm, moisturising ingredients. It goes with everything. Doesn't look too done. You know, you don't want to look too done if you're going out in the sun on holiday. You just want to look kind of beachy and fresh. Um, and then last but not least, this little gadget. I don't know whether you've ever seen one of these. You just buy them online. Just look up lash combs. It's a lash comb. And it looks a bit lethal, so be careful with it. But if you find that your mascara is caking or clumping in the sun, you just really carefully, you can comb your eyelashes to separate them. I love that little gadget. But always, if you can, use a magnifying mirror and be super careful because the prongs are sharp and you're using them right by your eye. Now I wonder, that's a lot of kit. I wonder if it's going to fit in this little bag. Yes, it does. Look at that. All in there, super neat. Uh, the packing cubes, by the way, are from Total Wardrobe Care. I love them, makes it so easy, because literally, I'm just gonna take this out and plonk this on the bathroom shelf wherever I am this summer. So, what are your favorites? Have I included some of yours? Are there some that I've missed? What are you taking on holiday? Let me know, pop a comment. I'll make sure we put links to everything that I've mentioned here so you can go and take a look. Some of them will have Liz Loves discounts, so do check those out. And have a great summer. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.